an interesting one. I've seen this for a few years. That solenoid valve is bypassing. Um, let's see much in there. So it should be off now. It's bleeding a bit of gas through here. And the compressor's on pump down, so it's just clicking in and off on the pressure switch. Um, what that's done, that's made a load of ice in the milk tank. So uh, just to the pressure switch click back in. It's probably a time delay in this box. We'll shut it off. <clears throat> Get some gauges up here and uh, get it pumped down and get that valve changed. Okay, you can still hear that leaking. I've got the uh, receiver valve shut, suction valve with the gauge on. Um, got the cap off for that because once we pumped it down, we'll shut that valve in just in case the head leaks. The other solenoid energized for the ice builder because um, the tanks the milk's one degree in the tank so I can't energize these valves when automatically off the controller from when the milk's that cold um, so it should be able to get out the other liquid line this T down the end to um, go off to the ice builder and come back up the suction so we'll give that five minutes um, I could leave that while, while we go and get the uh, oxy settling up here. So I think we'll, we would probably struggle if we try doing that with a map gas. valve raised in yeah just make sure I've got the arrow pointing the right way um, change the dryer um, I wasn't sure if I had one that had one on the van but the only one I've got is one of these Valcon um, dryers I've picked up for an emergency and um, because main, mainly I stopped raised in brazing stuff but I couldn't put a brazing dryer in here without changing the side glass although that does need changing you can't really see into that but, um, you know, you end up where you just stop on these things. Um, I need some work on it anyway, because that feasible plugs are black, ready to blow. So, uh, we've got to do some work on the other unit. So we might do that at the same time. Put it in. Um, anyway, I've put a Danfoss on there. Um, I've, I've only ever had one Danfoss valve let by like that, and I took it apart and had a bit of crap in it. It was on a fairly new install, 
um, but the uh, the coils uh, do burn out fairly regularly on these. Um, you know, it's not unknown. I would always keep one on the van. Um, the spallen valves. I've I've only ever seen one coil ever burn out on a spallen, but I've seen loads of them let leak, leak and let by. So uh, you know, you can either either pick one that's good mechanically or one that's good electrically. It's a shame you can't buy a Danfoss valve with a spallen coil. But um, anyway, keeps me busy. I've just that's in. Uh, What was I going to say? What I do with these is I usually cut one side off really tight, um, which is that little stub that's there, and then I join onto it, and then the other side you can cut just the other side. Otherwise, you end up having to sort of unsweat it and put bits of pipe in there and all sorts, it ends up being a pain. Um, I can't remember what refrigerant this is on, it's on one of the 22 drop ins, um, RS54 or something like that. I can't. I can't remember exactly. It was written on here with um, permanent marker, but it's it's worn away. Um, and they've left a 22 sticker on there, so I'll, I'll peel that off. But I can't 100% remember what it was on. I'll have to go back and see if I can see if I've got a picture of it or something. Um, I think it was RS54. So many different ones. I mean, that's that's probably not available anymore. A lot of the drop-ins we used to use aren't available anymore. Uh, I think 417A. Um, I asked about the other day, and you can't get it anymore. Um, I think there's 438A. I think is still available. And they're going to phase them all out, really. If you think 22's gone, and then we had 22 replacements, and 404 was for new kit that should have been 22. The 404 is going now, and we're into 404 replacements, so 22 stuff is, is sort of two generations ago, really. Um, anyway, let the back pump run a bit longer, and then we'll uh, see what it does. Right, it's all packed together. Um, when I was doing the dryer I noticed the Armaflex felt oily and I thought oh it's probably just damp from condensation but once I took the old dryer off um, that is, you can see, I don't know quite well that's going to show up but that lip is more or less rusted away so I think that just started to be a pinhole there which is why that all looks oily around the back so we just caught that in time, especially with the price of gas here now. Um, I got a quote yesterday for one a bottle of 134A for about well, like 10 kilos, something like that. 20 pound bottle is 800 pounds now to me. Um, and that's going to go up another probably 20 or 30 percent next month. It's getting stupid. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, it's getting where a little gas leak is going to cost people thousands to get recharged. Which is why we'll have to do that plug. Um, anyway, right, let's turn it on. It should, that's a solenoid click. This is on a tap. 